which rankings matter most. There are so many rankings out there. There's Flow Wrestling, the NWCA, Intermat, Open Mat, Win Magazine. So you're probably going crazy with which rankings actually matter. Which matter? I'm going to tell you which rankings matter and which to follow and which actually have implications. Now, if we're speaking very generally, none of the rankings really matter. It matters what you do in March. Okay, it matters what you do at the national tournament. And that's how I believe a lot of wrestlers should view the rankings. If you are a wrestler, if you're a high school, college wrestler, whatever you are, you shouldn't get caught up in the rankings. However, if you are a wrestling fan and you love seeing upsets, guys beating number one ranked guys, just like this past weekend with the Santo, crazy things going on, you like to follow the rankings. So I'm going to tell you the best individual rankings and the best team rankings. First of all, the best individual rankings that I have found is Flow Wrestling. These aren't necessarily official, I guess, but they're the most official that there are out there. And I believe that they're fair, they're honest, and they're analyzed to a T. If there's somebody who beat somebody, then lost to them, and they're, they're pretty fair with that on a regular basis. I'm going to give you an example. There are a couple examples from this season. Uh, of course, uh, with Seth Gross losing to Austin DeSanto, Seth Gross just moves down one, and then DeSanto just moves up one. That's an easy one. That's a simple one. But what about it with a situation like a Gage Curry of American? Gage Curry at 125 pounds just beat number 13, Killian Cardinal of Old Dominion at the Navy Classic. Now, he actually lost to him earlier in the season, but Cardinal actually beat Camacho earlier in the season, who was a ranked guy. So uh, this is, and, and I should mention that Gage Curry is an unranked wrestler. I'm using this situation because it's a little bit crazy, and I think that it's important to discuss. So as far as everything going on, um, now, what happened also is that Curry lost to Nick Aguilar of Rutgers at the Navy Classic. So where the heck do you rank all these guys? Aguilar was an unranked guy. Gage Curry was an unranked wrestler. But Cardinal was ranked early on because he ended up beating Camacho. So it's all over the place. What Flo Wrestling ended up doing was now Cardinal is number 13. Curry is number 20 because he has a win and a loss to Cardinal as well as Nick Aguilar who didn't beat Cardinal but he did beat Gage Curry so he's right in the middle of that. So 13 is Cardinal, 16 is Aguilar, 20 is Gage Curry. That is where the rankings make sense. It's just a little scenario of why I believe Flo Wrestling is the most fair as far as the rankings go. Now, as far as team rankings, which matter the most? There's so many out there. Flow, like I said, Intermat, Openmat, you'll see them everywhere. Even people just doing rankings on their own. Like the, the rankings that matter are the NWCA. These are the rankings that the NCAA uses. What is the NWCA? It's the National Wrestling Coaches Association. This means that the head coaches vote every single week. The head coaches of every college wrestling team votes on who the top 25 teams are and then points are accumulated based on their thoughts and that's kind of what happens there and those are the most official rankings these are where you'll see if it says number one iowa that's from the nwca if you're watching the dual meet these are like i said voted on by college coaches use an official mat an official broadcast so the rankings that do matter most are Flow Wrestling for individual as well as NWCA for the team.